Ever felt that earth-shattering power when playing your guitar in drop D tuning? Or hearing that driving heavy groove of your favorite band? Today we're unraveling the mystery behind this legendary tuning technique, taking you on an epic adventure through the explosive history of drop D. Drop D tuning is an alternative form of guitar tuning in which the lowest, the sixth string, is tuned down from the usual E of standard tuning by one whole step to D. Standard tuning can be shown here. Drop D can be shown here. Drop D tuning is often used within many metal genres such as metalcore, new metal, and thrash, in addition to various rock and alternative music styles. It is also used in blues, country, and folk, often with an acoustic guitar, and even classical guitar. Tuning the lowest string one tone down from E to D allows musicians to acquire a heavier, darker sound than in standard tuning. You could tune just one string in order to lower the key. Drop D is also a convenient tuning because it expands the scale of an instrument by two semitones, shown here. So what are the main advantages of drop D tuning? One advantage is extended range. By lowering the pitch of the lowest string by a whole step, guitar players can access deeper, richer bass notes, which can add depth to their sound. This is particularly beneficial for heavier musical genres. Easier power chords. In drop tuning, power chords can be played with just one finger, making it easier to perform fast chord progressions and transitions. This simplicity allows guitarists to focus more on their technique and creativity. Alternate fingerings. Drop D tuning opens up new fingering possibilities for scales and chords, providing guitar players with new approaches and unique sounds. This can help inspire creativity and originality in songwriting and improv. Simplified finger picking patterns, especially for guitarists that play drop D on an acoustic, this can facilitate a more comfortable and intuitive finger picking experience. The alternate tuning can create easy to navigate patterns that can often follow a more natural hand movement. Now let's dive into the history. One of the earliest uses of drop D tuning was by English composer John Dowland during the Renaissance period of the 16th century. Delta blues man Robert Johnson used drop D tuning on his song Malted Milk in the 1930s. Early hard rock songs tuned in drop D include the Beatles, I Want You, She's So Heavy, and Led Zeppelin's Moby Dick, both first released in 1969. As we move to 1981, Van Halen, with their release Fair Warning, Eddie Van Halen blew the doors off of drop D tuning with the song Unchained, a classic heavy rock riff that stands the test of time. Often you might see this song played by guitar players in C sharp versus drop D, However, the original studio recording is in fact in drop D. In the mid-1980s, bands such as King's X, Soundgarden, and Melvins, who were influenced by Led Zeppelin and Black Sabbath, made extensive use of drop D tuning. While playing power chords, a chord that includes the prime, fifth, and octave in standard tuning requires a player to use two or three fingers, drop D tuning needs just one. Similar in technique to playing bar chords, it allowed them to use different methods of articulating power chords, legato for example, and more importantly, it allowed guitarists to change chords faster. This technique of playing power chords, introduced by early grunge bands, was a great influence on many artists, such as Rage Against the Machine and Tool. That same drop D tuning then became very common practice among alternative metal acts, such as Helmet. who used the tuning a great deal throughout their career and would later influence many alternative metal and new metal bands. New metal bands, including Deftones and Slipknot, went one step further and decided to tune drop C, drop B, and drop A were often utilized. These tunings are very popular among alternative metal, metalcore, and deathcore acts like Trivium, Breaking Benjamin, 
August Burns Red, and Suicide Silence, where fast chord changes are an essential part of the sound. Some of these tunings are also used by progressive metal acts such as Pain of Salvation, Opeth, Fate's Warning, and Dream Theater. I'd like to thank everybody for joining me on this amazing journey on Drop D tuning. So if you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. This has been Damon D, One World, One Rock.